What up there, YouTubers, Reefers, and welcome back to another episode of Dreaming Reef. So today is the part two of the NDP giveaway. So first up, like the sneak preview from last week, I have recently set up a 14-gallon innovative marine peninsula tank. So before I actually introduce to you guys this tank, I will show you what I have currently in this tank itself. So this brings us to our local LFS Iwana. So recently Iwana bought in a shipment of captive bred animals from Bali Aqua Ridge. So Chinkai actually dropped me a text and telling me that he has two of these captive bred Venusters Angel. So this is the first time we are having the captive bred uh, Venusters Angel. So with him giving me this news, I told him that there's no way that I can miss this out because I'm actually looking for something very unique for the 14 gallon. I didn't really want to overstock the tank, so I want something that is very unique. So when he told me about this pair of Venusters Angel, I have to get it. So I went straight down that day when the shipments arrived, and the both of them is very healthy upon arrival, they are doing very well, and I brought them straight home immediately that day itself. So aside from the captive bred angels that they have, they also brought in a group of different types of designer clowns. So they have the black storm clownfish. They also have a couple of extreme snowflakes to even the Bali Aquarich premium helmet Picassos over here. And there is, if I'm not wrong, three of the nebula clowns that is very famous from the Bali Aquarich. So me being a clown guy, right, I couldn't resist the temptation, but I actually went home with a pair of the captive bred black storms. So I've picked up these two out of that school of clownfish over there. So I've always tried to pull myself away from black storms or even the storms clown because I felt that they are a bit overrated. But I always do want to have a pair myself as well. And since the opportunity was just right and I found in I literally fell in love with this pair over here. The black storms among the storms are one of my favorites and I told myself why not give it a try since there's a new system and it's always cool to always have clownfish in tanks. So I picked up this tool and I actually brought this tool back home as well. So these are the four fishes that I've got home for the 14 gallon peninsula system. So before we actually head home to show you guys the four fishes that I brought back earlier, this is one interesting butterfly that I want to show you guys before we actually head back. So for those of you guys who do not know what butterfly is this, right? This is the Banks butterfly or the Aya butterfly. It's only found in the US. It's a very rare butterfly because it is region is very small and these guys are very deep water. So to actually collect one takes a lot of effort and you usually only see about three to four for sale throughout Asia or throughout the world. So this is the only one piece I've ever seen in Singapore and it's a very rare piece to find. So let's head right home and I will actually show you guys the four fishes and how are they doing back in the 14 gallon tank. Alright, so welcome back. We are I'm actually taking this about three days after we got the fishes. So the Venus's pair is actually doing very well. After the second to the third day, they are actually more bold. They come out for food. These guys are pretty interesting. They are only about probably five to six months old. And according to the breeder, they are already been eating on frozen artemias and even on pellets. So I tried giving them frozen artemia and one of them actually is a bit bolder compared to the other one. So he actually went straight out for food and then subsequently the little one actually follows through. So the both of them have been doing really well. So angels being angels, yes, they do fight once in a while. The bolder one does chase the shine, the more shine one all the time. Well, once in a while you see them chasing after each other, but not much aggression. You do not see any torn fins and all. They will just chase each other in a couple of rounds and then they will just stop and they will go back doing their own business. So most of them actually spend their time foraging my rock works. They actually spend almost the entire day scavenging for food, looking for things to nip on. And as you can see over here, right, they are not that camera shy after 
they get used to you. So maybe because they are captive bred, these guys have been quite used to seeing humans feeding them throughout their entire lifetime. These guys here are not so much, it's not so shy compared to those wild ones that actually does shine away for you for the first couple of months. These guys adapt pretty well. And this is the interesting thing I like about captive bred fishes is they do adapt a lot better in captivity compared when you get a wild caught fish. So me being me, I'm a huge sucker for captive bred animals. So when I first stumbled upon this chance to actually get these two Vinister's Angel, I have to have them. So here they are in the tank right now. They are thriving really well. They are doing really good. And if you guys want to know more about them or if you guys want to even actually try to acquire a pair or even one of the captive bred um, angels that comes from Bali Aquarich, you can actually check with Iwana itself and they do bring in quite a good amount of captive bred stuff like your clownfish to angels from Bali Aquarich. So if you want to get an angel from them or even a clownfish, do give Iwana a heads up and then see whether when will they actually bring in more shipments of these guys. So enough of the angels, let's show you the two clowns and how are they doing. And so here they are my pair of black storm clown fish. So clowns being clowns and actually being born in captivity, these guys are a ease to keep. So upon arrival, they started feeding that exact day itself. So I've got them one that is slightly bigger than the other. So hopefully when they start to mature up and start to pair up, right? One will start to be the dominant one and the other one will be the submissive male. So over here, you see my pair of black storm clownfish. So I actually did thought a name for them, which being them looking so much like clowns or sorry clowns and I'm a huge fan of beef I decided to name one Wagyu the bigger one and the smaller one Kobe and aside from having these four fishes in the 14 gallon right I do feel that I need to have some decoration piece so decoration piece I meant by corals that will be going to the 14 gallon but I've not really decided what I want to get for the 14 gallon yet but since I have a lot of spare zoos, I decided to fill it up with zoos first so I'm actually heading over to my favorite LFS which is Supreme Coral mainly for corals so if you guys not know Supreme Corals right later I will leave you guys a link below to actually look on the LFS tour that I did for them recently so Supreme Coral have a collection of very amazing corals for most refills to get and one of my decisions that I wanted to do the 14 gallon right was actually to do a Euphelia garden so if you can see over here, if you actually put a lot of different euphilias together, right, they actually look really good. And euphilias being euphilias, right, they actually brings a lot of movement into your tank. So chances are, if I will ever want to change out that 14 gallons and pull out all the zoas, right, I will be considering doing a full euphilia tank for the 14 gallon. So one thing that really catches my eye is this holy grail torch that Supreme Coral have. I am actually planning to get myself one frack because it's really really insane the colors on it is just so damn beautiful compared to the golden torch beside so I have a golden torch and when I saw the holy grail right I told myself that I really want to get a frack also so for now let me show you guys the coral that I actually picked up for the zoo tank which is the 14 gallon so this is one of the zoos that I picked up in supreme coral so this over here is the Illusionist. So it's very similar to the Magician, but however, if you see the both of them upright and in person, right, the Illusionist is actually a lot brighter. So the Illusionist is orange compared to the Red Magician. And the eye inside there, the speckle is really a lot brighter compared to your usual Magician. So aside from the Illusionist, I actually picked up another frag of the Rainbow Rhino. So this one over here, right, it's a very interesting Zoro because I actually like the colors of it a lot. It is one of those Zoros that actually have this very unique coloration on it. So you have these green skirts with this very nice bluish purplish um, center with another very strong 
green eye and if you look very closely to it right it's not just green there's actually like a rainbow speck ring around it so which makes it a very interesting Zoro so being a Disco Soma fan I couldn't help myself but to show you guys this pile of uh, very nice jaw breakers here so the next thing I want to show you guys is the Sorted Agave so I may probably get one frag soon and Supreme Coral actually does have a whole tray of the OG Bounce Mushroom Frags so I am a huge huge fan of OG Bounce and this is one color that I feel that all serious collectors should have in their collection so once they are ready and they are up for sale I'll probably pick one up for myself as well so if you guys cannot really see how detailed these little guys are right I'll show you guys a picture of the mother colony over here so this is the true OG bounce and just look at how beautiful this thing is and so for the time that most of you guys are actually waiting for which is the NDP giveaway results so there's five of you guys who participate in the giveaway and I've put the five of you guys name into this random name picker so I'm going to hit the pick a random name and let's see who the winner is alright so the winner goes to James so James if you are seeing this right do give us a heads up contact me via the Instagram page or the YouTube channel and you are the lucky winner that is going to walk away with the S3 exclusive cap so we have also come to the end of this NDP special video so next week we will be probably heading back to our RFS tour and also we are about to hit our 100 subscribers already so do keep supporting onto the channel we will be doing another video soon on our 100 subscriber giveaway so as usual hope you guys subscribe and i will see you guys real soon next week